Hello, welcome back to Danny Crafters. Today we're going to be making this chip bag as you see in the picture here. This chip bag is actually going to be an explosion chip bag. We're going to fill this bag with little pacifiers, little strings, so that whenever you pop it, you get to know the gender of the new arrival. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to resize this image just so we can use it as a reference of what we're going to be making. I'm going to place it in the corner here and I have all my images that I'm going to use for this particular chip bag over here to the right. We're going to begin with the middle portion. I chose this image. We're going to change the size to 4.577 and the height we're going to do 6.735 that's the middle portion so let's begin assembling the middle portion for the words we're going to use my favorite font which is Bayamo or Baylac. But I think for this particular design, I'm going to be using Bayamo. We're going to type our first word and we're going to go to curve to curve the image to make it more fancier. And again, you can change this to any color that you want by just going to print and changing the color um, I'm gonna probably pick something neutral maybe a blue so we have our first word whenever we put our images on the chip bag you're gonna leave a little space let me zoom out so you can see you're gonna leave a little space there at the top because when we assemble our chip bags we want to be able to make sure that we have space to put our adhesive on so again I'm just going to be going through keeping the same color and I'm going to just be making my text I'm going to curve this going the upward motion and I'm going to change it to print and the same blue we're going to probably have to rearrange those once we put our other images on but you'll get the point so we're going to have this image that we're working on right here and we're going to do a little smaller size 1.486 0 0.917 let's go and change this one Zero point nine one seven. Zero point nine one seven. so that those two images are at least alike and where I have my question marks I want to just Put the blue one inside the blue one. Always send your images to the front. And to do that, you go to arrange, send to front. I'm going to resize them. Put that there. And I just want to make sure that the question marks fit inside of these images. Once I see that, I'm going to go ahead and flatten those, or you can group them. Um, it's your personal preference. So this, I told y'all we was going to probably have to play around with the sizing. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to arrange these little question marks, banners, 
like so. Take this image here, go to arrange, send to the front, and I'm going to unlock it and resize it to where it's in the middle. But this part here, remember we want to leave a little space so that when we do our adhesive, it'll work. So that's my friend looks about right to the original image yep so we're going to go ahead and make that one smaller we're going to group all of those and put that to the side now we're going to work on our sides so we have this square so this square we're going to change the size of it to 2.5 three six and for the height we're going to do six point seven three five um six point seven three five oops don't ask me where I got those <laughs> numbers from um it's basically works for me when I'm doing my chip bag so um that's that's what works for me you do what works for you but basically we're going to duplicate the first one so we're going to start on our right side of our chip bag and I have my nutrition facts that I have already worked with and made to my liking you know you have to clean up any image that you find you have to always clean it up so I want it to look like so and I am completely happy with that. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to group it. So now I have <clears throat> one side of my chip bag done. So I just need to work on my left side. Let's just get rid of this since we already got the front looking like so. And we're going to go ahead and place this bad boy here and we're going to start by decorating this side so for this side let's let's make the little footprint smaller and you can kind of work with them and kind of put them you know kind of put them how you want to put them I think I want to have them like a like so once I duplicate them, you can arrange them how you want to at the end. But I'm still, I still want something here. So let's just go to images, and I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm gonna do something like thank you. Let's search thank you. I like this one right off the bat because that's that perfect size of what I need. But let's just look and see what else they have. I think I'm going to do that one. Again, we're going to resize it and make it look how we want it to look. But we definitely don't want this green. So let's go to print. And since we have blue, let's do some pink. Well, I don't know because pink and pink. What if white? Nah, we're going to have to keep the blue. But that's okay. Let's say the boy, it was a boy. <laughs> Again, this is just the background that I chose. You can choose any background you like. Um, we're going to take everything and we're going to group it. I'm going to flatten it. And as you can see right here, it says that my image is too large so I'm going to do here 9.25 and 6.75 and pay attention because on my position side here I'm also going to do 9.25 and 6.75 and as you will see it made it go to a different part of the screen 
so we're going to click make it and it's going to start out the project so this is how it's going to print out so once you have it done you guys just going to press continue and then you have it <laughs>